Kelly needs to get plugged back in. Is it just, uh, just the speaker and the power okay. source to the TV. Speaker is in between the USB and the Chromecast, so I might have to unplug the Chromecast. Chromecast doesn't have to get plugged in? No, just plugged into the TV. What is that's futuristic? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome back to Style Selected. This is a show where we each get to flex our own creative muscles that come up with the room design all on our own. And then the person getting the room makeover gets to decide which style they vibe with the best. But wait, this is a special holiday edition because we're doing a holiday themed makeover in a space. We're taking an existing living room and giving it a complete holiday glow up. Oh, I like that. Today we are here with Rachel. She is a good friend of mine and you might recognize her from the vlog channel. Subscribe to that if you haven't already. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Hi, Rachel. Hi. We're here. Thanks for having us in your home. Really excited Thanks. to Christmasify this place. Yeah. So you just bought this house with your fiance, right? Yeah. And I'm guessing you probably don't own much Christmas decor yet? No, just a Christmas tree. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Yeah. We have one thing. Yes. And those can be expensive too, so that's a very helpful thing. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> What would be your ideal like Christmas style, mm -hmm. if you had to say? Um, kind of cozy, elegant, and romantic and warm okay. in a way. We can work with yeah, that. I like that. Yeah, you, <laughs> so you want like more traditional, I mean, is your tree green? Yes. It's not like a pink tree or no, something crazy? <laughs> okay, tree, yeah. so definitely traditional, that's good. We can yeah, work, we can work yeah. with that. So yeah, I want to put stockings somewhere. Like we don't have a living room, like this is the room where Christmas will happen, so. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> somewhere, this is yeah. the room. Yeah, this is the room. Okay. All in this space. So we know we got to sort a tree, yeah. we got to sort stockings somewhere, and then just any other cozy Christmas touches. Yes. Christmasify. Yeah. Okay. With that in mind, I think we'll go think of some designs okay. for your space and then come back and pitch them to you. Yeah. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have designs. Okay. You start. Okay, <laughs> fine. Um, all right, so for my design, I want to play up her like gray tones and cool tones that she has going on. So I'm going to make it a white winterland Christmas with lots of white. Not really many other colors. Keeping it natural though. Let's start with the tree. For the tree, I want to do it full of lots of white as well as some natural materials, giving lots of textures to the tree. Since she doesn't have a mantle, I was thinking of doing like a pom-pom garland and hanging it around one of her like side pillars that she has and then clipping the stockings onto that. I also want to add curtains to her large window because textures make a space feel nice and cozy. An element I wanted to do in her TV stand is actually attach a bunch of little slices of logs such as birch to a piece of card to make it look like a faux stack of logs and then put this in behind the glass of her TV stand to make that look very nice and Christmassy and neat and organized. In the interior window that she has in her living room, I want to do a hanging wreath. I want to add some lanterns as some extra wintry decor as well as, of course, some cozy blankets and pillows and such, all in that white tone. And I'll top it off with some DIY mistletoe and hang that from the light in the middle of the living room. So for my design for Rachel's room, I'd love to keep it kind of classic Christmas with a lot of warm, homey tones, but still keep it a little bit modern. I like to think of it as like a classic Christmas painting where it uses greens and reds and whites, but somehow still comes across as neutral. Like if Christmas neutral was a thing, this is what it is. Okay, so let's talk about the tree. For the tree, I'd love to keep it to those same three colors, white, green, and red, to really bring a cohesive vibe to the whole space. I would like to throw in a little touches of kind of gold and brass throughout just to bring that warmth to the color scheme. Because she doesn't have a mantle for stockings, I'd love to do a floating shelf above the TV. I feel like there's a lot of extra space up there and because it's so empty, it makes the room feel shorter than it really is. I think adding a floating shelf up there will A, give us a place to put a garland and some stockings, but then B, once Christmas time is over, it's just a great place to store things and I think it really adds to that wall in general. Speaking of adding height, I'd love to do some curtains above the window wall because that is also another place where it's kind of empty space above and adding curtains will just bring your eye up. One other thing I noticed in the room is that on each corner of the back wall, there's kind of two little jet outs. I feel like this place is just calling for some wall sconces. Anywhere we get to add lights and throw a warm colored bulb in there, it's really gonna add to the homey warmth of this room. 
To finish the whole space off, I want to add some red and white pillows to the couch, a big white throw, and anywhere else we can throw in candles around the room is a really great way to add that Christmas touch while still adding warmth and hominess. So I guess with that in mind, you got to tell us which design you're vibing with more. <laughs> which style you want to select. I'm going to go with Becky's design. I like the shelf and the stockings. Yeah, I love Kelsey's Christmas tree and okay. the mistletoe. I think those are really nice. Okay, we might be able to yeah. do a little collab. A little Becky, will you collab with me? I will. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> okay, so normally we would get you to help us clear out furniture, but in this case, want to help us build a tree? Yeah. Do you want to build a fake tree? <laughs> I'm really happy that Rachel chose my design and I don't think she chose it just because she knows me. I think it really is a fun design and I'm really excited to play with reds and greens. Not something we get to do often in style selected episodes. How is this a tree? How big is this tree? Seven and a half feet. What? In this, a what? This is like four feet. Oh. Yeah, she fresh. This is a fresh fake tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has the lights on it already. That's so good. Yes. Oh, another thing we don't need to buy. Oh wow, this is really, wow. This. Are you getting out the instructions? Just <laughs> I'm like, we don't need those. No, it's so easy. A, B, and C. I'm gonna guess That's that cool. goes in here. Who needs instructions? Not us. We got this. Wait, this is very easy. Too easy. Something ain't right here. Oh, this the peg needs to come out. Oh, I see. Maybe we should have read the instructions. No. No. <laughs> But it's not like in the way at all. Uh oh. Wait, does this turn off? Ah. Yo, we might need the instruction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get those back. I've never accepted defeat <laughs> until now. <laughs> no, it's literally that easy. Oh. You loosen the peg and stick it in. Okay, let's try again. Shove Maybe it. Just, oh, we just needed to shove nailed it. Nailed it. Shoved it. Okay, yeah. incoming. Oh, you're tree. floofing it? Yeah. You're fluffing floofy. That is the technique. You gotta expand them. That looks good. That's gonna be fun finding a star. It's close to the ceiling. I think yeah. I have a hack for this because I've done this before. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Wait, can we plug it in though? Yeah. I want the satisfying moment. It's a tree lighting ceremony. <gasps> Aww. 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 <laughs> that went from awe to awe. I love it. This is awesome. This looks really good. I'm into it. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited to see what you guys do with this space. Ooh, Ooh, just wait. Me too. All right, we'll let you head off to work and mm -hmm. we'll get to it. Sounds good. Thank you, Rachel, for your help. But when you come back, this is going to be a holiday-fied room and I'm so excited for you to see it. Oh my god, I have like built-in pom-poms. Yay! All right, it's the next day and it's time to hit the stores to get everything we need to make this room come together. As per usual, you guys know we love to start at the thrift store first. The asses section saves the day again. It is the next day and it is time to start the Christmas glow up. All right, let's start with the things that aren't Christmas decor. Cool. That are just gonna help with the cozy vibes. Yeah, cozy points. So um, curtains are cozy points. Shelf is cozy, 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 cozy point, and um, the sconces are cozy points. Definitely. So um, let's just bang those out. How you think we can do this pretty quickly? I mean, the curtain rod. I think I've set up enough curtain rods in my room decor lives that we can probably bang this one out pretty quick. Ali, you want to set a timer and we can see how fast we we can do this? Like right now? Like right now. Go. <laughs> okay. We putting up a curtain rod. Okay, we're just gonna jump into this. Um, comment down below how long you think it'll take us to hang up a curtain rod. 
Okay, I don't even need this right you now. You don't it's like need the that. last step. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> oh, there was a beer themed pillow hidden behind there. <laughs> Let's have a beer themed Christmas. Okay. Cause, well, we know that the middle one has to go in the middle. So. Wow. Got it. Why am I trying to place these? You have Wasting time. <laughs> We just gotta find the middle. Sorry, sorry. Take half. Okay. Wait, no. We don't need the middle. This is the middle. Is it? Yeah, sure. There's four perfectly spaced windows. That's the middle. Sure. Okay. So, okay, okay. There. We didn't assign roles before we started this. That was the rookie mistake. Okay. Middle. Boom. Here? I love it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, off to a little bit of a rocky start, but don't worry. I feel good about this. Three minutes? I'm stressing. <laughs> That's wow. not bad. I literally thought it's gonna take eight, but <laughs> eight specifically. But let's remember that and we will beat it next time. Yes. I feel like that makes us more efficient too. Yeah, it did. Stuff. Okay. Are we um, gonna take these off? I think that we should. They feel yeah. like, I don't know, now, after seeing these, I love them so much. They're very like elegant, but this is not. I really love these curtains. I think it was the way to go. The space feels definitely a lot brighter and bigger, but what I'm not so sure about is the blinds. I think we're going to remove them. Rachel gave us permission. It's just gonna make the space feel even brighter and it won't clash as much. I'm gonna get started spray painting some of our thrifted finds and some of the as-is finds in nice glossy white. We found some ornaments and some weaved balls as well as some lanterns. And uh, we're also going over these stocking holders that you may recognize from a certain holiday thrift flip. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do so, so you get my references. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let Kelsey finish spray painting while I get started with installing those wall sconces. We got these from Ikea and they're really easy to install. So I pre-measured where my screws have to go and then added some wall plugs. Then put in some screws and the sconces just slid right in. Yeah! Baby! So one of the things we had to solve with this room was a place to put the stocking. So as per my plan, we're doing a floating shelf above the TV. I love this because once the holidays are over, it's still gonna be a super functional shelf to put anything else up there that she needs. Beauty. Okay, let's put it up. Little holes go at the bottom? Yes. Can I just tell you that in my old apartment, I built this kind of shelf from scratch. Uh -huh. The floating pegs, like everything. everything. It was difficult. And then the pegs were like a little bit wobbly. So it's like I had to cut some off. It was like so sketchy. So all this time you didn't know this was a product you could buy? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. DIY lifestyle, baby. I know, I was trying to really channel my DIY lifestyle, but oops. Okay, well, now that this is done. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> could it, could it use the, one of these drills? <laughs> wow. Okay. Beautiful. Cute. Oh my God, wait, are we done the actual work and we get to make it pretty now? We haven't even Christmasified yet. I'm pissed. So technically all of Christmas is final touches, right? Except for I did some DIYing. So let's bring that tree back in. We have some garland. Oh, the TV we can bring back in too. The TV, okay, let's reassemble. And decorate. And decorate. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's definitely feeling very festive in here, but it's time to go style our mantle with some garland that we bought. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now check this out, garland on a shelf. It's Elf on the Shelf, but for adults. <laughs> what I learned about Christmas is that there's a lot of fluffing involved. 
Oh, cute. Lit. We do have some candles too that could maybe go up there. And the stockings. And the stockings! Do you think they should go one side or off or one one? I think two together. Yeah, me it's too. Cute. I'm glad we're on the same page there. <laughs> Love it when we agree. <laughs> Does that look good? Aw, you look great! Aw, it's Rachel and Eric! I love how this is coming together. It's looking so Christmassy, but I don't think that this floating shelf is the only thing that needs a garland. We found what could be this not so cute eucalyptus thing at the thrift store, but I'm gonna make it Christmas appropriate by removing the bow it came with, adding my own bow, and then hanging it onto the sconces. DIY thrift store hack ugly faux plants into beautiful Christmas garlands. <laughs> Wow, that is precious. So remember how I was talking about how there might be an issue if your tree's too tall to fit a star? Well, I have a little hack for you if you're dealing with a tall boy. A tall tree. Okay, wanna star me? I gotcha. I got a star burst, yeah. Okay, I figured this might be a problem. A seven and a half foot tree in an eight foot space. Um, I've kind of done this before in my houses, is what you can do is like put it on a lower branch. Especially when this will not work as well for a real tree, mm -hmm. but in a faux tree, like if we just fold, fold, <laughs> fold, oh my God. fold down these like pieces. That was so easy. It's really easy. Like now it's a shorter tree. But we need a top now. Now you pick your own top. <laughs> I'm going to build this up. <laughs> Fluff it out. Okay. Right? Yeah. Still it's still very close, but Lisa's not touching. Hacked. Hacked. Okay, let's bring in our thrifted guys. Those are cute. I'm really sad that we couldn't find any white at the thrift store, but we supplemented with store bought. And those are so cute. They the box is so vintage looking, look at this. I know. They're like so vintage from California. I'm obsessed with this color, it's so rich. Mm. Like it's such a nice red, it's beautiful. It's kind of making me hungry. <laughs> For what food? Pomegranates Ooh. or berries. Ooh. Or candy apples. Can cranberry dressing. <laughs> cranberry sauce. <laughs> cranberry sauce. It's like we've never decorated a tree before. We totally forgot you gotta put the garland on before the ornaments. Whoops, let's take it back a step. So this garland is totally a hack. It's just a string of pom-poms from the dollar store, but once we put it on the tree, it looks so cute. I'm super happy with this. Thank you for collabing with me on the tree. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm sure Rachel is gonna love it. I know, I love this pom pom. I love this like thrift store save that we painted white, you painted white. It's the raddest shade. <laughs> shape? Shape. Shape. Shade. It's the coolest shade. Shape. Oh my God, it's like a shade. But there's no light in it. This is the raddest shape bulb. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Sick. Um, okay, so I think that leaves us with Final touch time. Okay, so before we get to the final touches, there's one more thing to do, and that's the DIY mistletoe. So to do this, I'm taking some sticky felt and folding it in half to make it a little bit thicker. Next, I'm tracing out the shape of mistletoe leaves, which kind of looks like a stick man, but with like balls for hands and feet. And I'm cutting out three of these kind of organic shapes. Then I hot glued them together all the top and attached a piece of ribbon to it. And lastly, I added little white pom-poms to represent the mistletoe berries, and then you're all done.
is so good. Yeah? It's so cozy. Are we excited about it? I'm really excited about it. Okay. <sighs> Should we show Rachel? I think she's home now. Yeah, let's show Rachel. Rachel! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can do the honors, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> well, do you remember your living room before? It was a nice living room, but clearly not ready for holiday season. <laughs> But now it is, baby. Okay. okay. Give you a countdown to see your new Christmas decked out living room in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys are ah, <laughs> awesome. Did we nail the theme? Yes, oh my goodness, I love it. So your Christmas tree we set up, well, we set up, but then right. we decorated yeah. with a lot of new and thrifted vintage ornaments. Ooh. Some DIY to match because some of them weren't on theme. Okay. Um, we added the shelf up here, which right now is kind of like a faux mantle since yeah. You don't have a mantle. Right. Now the stockings have somewhere um, to go. Yes. And when it, Christmas is over, um, it can just be like a cute place for books or yeah. board games or whatever you yeah. want to start there. Mm -hmm. I want to keep it like that all year. <laughs> <laughs> we put some sconces up on either side because I feel like it just it felt like the right place for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now this chair you had is almost like a little reading nook with the mm -hmm. light. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh yes, something's missing. Yeah. Oh, you took the blinds down. <laughs> yes. I think the curtains just make the room look like so much more yes. taller and bright yeah. and airy. And cozy, like textures yeah. always add cozy. Yeah, Ooh. and speaking of textures, the couch now yes. has lots of fancy pillows. We also moved your carpet out a little bit. I feel oh, like it just felt like idea. more right in the yeah. center of the room. I agree. Yeah. And then of course, from my design, I did the DIY mistletoe for you there, yeah. so love it. It's so cute. When so Eric cute. gets home, you'll have to take a month of the yes. missile, so. Yeah, I'll test it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then to make use of your indoor window or your basement pass-through so you can put things in your basement, which was very interesting. Good yeah. to know, renovating my basement. We have this little candle shrine. It's so very pretty. Cute. Yeah, I love those candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys nailed it. Ah, that's so Merry awesome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I'm so excited that we were able to do a special edition of Sal Selected, Holiday Edition. I'm so happy that we were able to help Rachel and Eric get their brand new house ready for the holidays and maybe bring in a little bit of extra things too that they might not have thought about. If you guys enjoyed this series, we have way more episodes of Style Selected that you can check out, linked below and at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>